Here we go again. Late June, early July, 1992, all the way up to Halloween, October 31st, 1999, Daco's Family Restaurant. Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. Let me take you back to a particular time, uh, Daco's. Daco's was on uh, Lincoln Way West uh, in Maslin, Ohio. Uh, today, at this uh, day, going back to Maslin and seeing it, it is now called Sammy's uh, Family Restaurant. Uh, or restaurant, if you will. Uh, but back then, uh, as a dishwasher, as what I started out as, a dishwasher had to particular clean up. You had to make sure your bus tubs and stuff was touched up to dishes and whatnot. You had to uh, sweep them off the cook's line and sweep them off uh, the uh, uh, the counter area, the waitress's area, the counter there, which they were like this. You know, kind of give or, give or take a little bit, they were like this. Uh, you know, the cook's area was here or no, the cook's area was here <laughs> yeah, the cook's area was here as you walked out the door to the kitchen and right here was the uh, uh, was the cook's, or was the, uh, the counter there by the waitresses and whatnot there the counter wrapped around I don't know, if you don't get the idea, I'm sorry I confused you but anyway, I can remember the cleanup had to do with that sweeping mop on the cook's sign and sweeping mop on the counter, sweeping the mopping of uh, 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 the back in the kitchen uh, doing the bathrooms, making sure the bathrooms was clean and uh, uh, had fresh, uh, 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 had fresh stuff, you know, uh, fresh uh, toilet paper and whatnot. And uh, you had to uh, vacuum, uh, uh, vacuum the floor there uh, in the dining room area and the dining area. And you had to take out the trash, uh, the cook's line trash, uh, uh, trash in the back of the uh, uh, in the kitchen there. There was three big cans back here in the kitchen, two on each side of the table and one over there by the dishwasher. Well Doc's grandma, Nan, lived uh, in a, there, there's a little alleyway there called Houston uh, Street or Houston Place or whatever it was and uh, if you pull into the Doc's there, there was a little alleyway that's, that was like catty corner there as you pull into the Doc's in the front entrance there on your right hand side would be that Houston Place and Nan lived in a, in a white house there toward the back of that uh, uh, little uh, street or a little alley type thing if you will and then she was by oh I'd say she was maybe her late 70s early 80s at the time and uh, she had uh, uh, she had some uh, problems as a lady her age would and I can remember uh, Nan would uh, always try to get your attention if she had a full uh, trash can you had to go over and you had to go get Nan's trash that was uh, part of the deal. The dishwasher, you had to go get Nan's trash. Well, if you ignored Nan, or if she saw you come out, Nan would go, <coughs> trying to get your attention. One time I ignored Nan. You know, I ignored her. I didn't, I, I, at first, you know, when I first started there, I didn't know exactly who she was. I was like, what is this lady freaking having to, uh, having a freaking, uh, she's dripping out. And, uh, I went back in and, uh, phone had rang and Mark had answered. Mark coming back, he goes, hey, goof. I said, what? He goes, uh, go get, uh, 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 go get Doc's grandma's trash, Nan. It's like, what are you talking about? I said, come here, you f fucking idiot. Throws out the, goes, uh, out the back door there, uh, in the kitchen and he says, see a house over there? I said, yeah. He goes, she's got a trash can over there. You see it? I said, yeah. He goes, are you with me? I said, yeah. He goes, I got to write it down for you. Do I make uh, 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 visuals, picture visuals? I'm like, hey, you idiot. He goes, okay. He goes, go over there and get a trash. You know, just simply just go over and get a trash stuff and, you know, and then come back in and uh, finish up what you had to do. Well, I go over there and I left up the trash can. Oh, man. I'm like, oh. Nan had word the pens. So I had to uh, uh, go take her trash over and dump it into the dumpster there back in the far back of the uh, parking lot there and I'm going to tell you what oh my goodness that was horrible so every time I'd work with somebody preferably Fred Ellenbridge or uh, Fred Ellenbridge uh, that's a long story about Fred and I might get into that there in one of the other Docker stories here down memory lane uh, at some other time but uh, I after that I pretty much uh, had Fred or whomever I worked with if I was working with them on days I pretty much had him go to do it but yeah like I said if you missed out I'm taking Nan's trash out. 
she would automatically call to make sure that that trash got taken care of. Didn't matter if there was a bag, two or three, or if the thing was full all the way up to the top. You had to go get Nan's trash. Like I said, it was very, it was a very uh, uh, shitty job, so to speak. Uh, but somebody had to do it. It was all a part of uh, working at Dockwood's Family Restaurant. And uh, just one of those times where you look back on it and you're like, Oh man, I can still, I, I can still to this day remember the smell. Not good. Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. I'll catch you next time.